This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 22 of the bathroom tutorial. Uh, start off first, we're going to position the shower head. So just bring that up, and let's see, rotate it 180 degrees. Make sure angle snap is on. Alright, and just kind of sink it in there. Alright, next, create a box, make sure auto grid's on, and just give it a lengthwise, and make it 14 inches long. Position that at the top, like so. Rotate that 90 degrees, make a copy, and make this one, let's see, 12 inches long. And this one should be 14. I don't know why it changed. All right. And then this one is lined up to this wall. All right. Bring it down. And bring this one over. All right. Then in the left-hand view, press F3. And just align them. We go for that one, and then get up, and then you can delete the boxes afterward. All right, perspective F3. Let's give this a black material. Actually, I'm kind of curious as to why this is doing it to me. Hmm. Strange. Um, and then just give it a gray material afterward. Alright. Now we have the shower head position. Next, let's work on the uh, hot and cold changer. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but either way, press Alt B, Files, Browse to this file. Open and then those are all good. Give it a second update. Here we go. I'll upload this one to Photo Bucket momentarily. Um, you're going to want to hide selection and in the center create a cylinder. Okay, just center it up a little bit more. Try to get these photos as uh, spot on as possible, but can't always get them perfect. Alright, uh, convert to editable poly. Actually, sorry, you're going to want to um, move all the height segments. And actually just slim it down a bit. Now convert to editable poly. Alright, and then we're going to bevel this. So just start beveling a little bit. Go in a bit go down a bit, go up about a third of the way, a little more, half the way, go back down to where it was originally, a third of the way, then just do some little bit, little bevels in here, so set order. And then for this, um, actually, check something here. Um, Alright, this is back down, so you're going to want to just inset this, like so. And I'm actually looking at a uh, another picture right here of a side on view. I'll show you that one in a second. But um, bevel this up a bit and in, and then up a bit more, and let's see here, bring it in again, and then the next part is just pretty much a slow curve. Okay. Alright, now 
works. We have to make a uh, bulb shape. So let's actually look at this viewport a little closer. this uh, 90 degrees on its side and just kind of put it like here and then scale it up until the uh, scale matches. Alright, next what we're going to want to do is just select some of these verts like in here and just scale these out a bit. Okay, bring this up a bit. Actually, let's uh, scale those a bit more. Okay. Um, just like this, ring, connect, and we'll scale it out a bit because eventually we're going to apply a uh, some type of smooth modifier to this so select all this and we'll just scale this down Oops. okay actually we'll redo this end part right here I'm not a big fan of that so let's just cap the end Control select the polygons there. Alt. And we'll just bevel it by hand. Make sure I'm not running out of time. Apply. 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 You don't have to put this much resolution in it, it's not really necessary, but we're not going to be doing any animations of sorts, so. Alright, and then finally we're going to bring this back a bit, and we're good on that account. I think it will take out just a few of well mm. no, I'll just leave it. So X out of four view here. Or quad view, I think that's what it's called. And let's just see what we have. Alright, let's apply a mesh smooth to it. And that looks pretty nice. So now that we know that is looking pretty good, um, what we're going to do is just select a few of these polys here. Maybe not that one. We'll grow them out this way. Let's just press ignore back facing. We can select a few of them at a time. Let's see. That'll have to be it. We'll continue in the next part.